Hello and welcome. I'm Zach Yuson, and this is your Noontime Wrap. The Philippine Senate and Congress adopt rules for canvassing the votes for president and vice president. This includes rules on what to do if the electronic count does not match official certificates of canvas. Among the guidelines, Board of Canvassers submitting the inconsistent COC should appear before the Congress Joint Committee within 24 hours. In the guidelines, how Congress will resolve the conflict if the candidates challenge the COCs. In case candidates challenge the COCs, the Joint Committee will decide by, quote, a majority vote of its members. Voting will only happen after all uncontested COCs are canvassed. The Joint Committee is also authorized to audit the devices used like vote counting machines and memory cards. It's up to the chairpersons to resolve the dispute if it's still unsettled. Senator Coco Pimentel for the Senate and House Majority Floor Leader Neptali Gonzalez for Congress. Vice Presidential Bet Bongbong Marcos earlier vowed to challenge every COC. He's behind Lenny Robredo by 200,000 votes based on the partial count as of May 18. It's official. The rainy season is here. Philippine State Weather Bureau Pagasa says widespread rainfall in the past days signal the shift. At least five days of rain with 25 millimeters of rainfall trigger the declaration of the rainy season. Pagasa expects 7 to 17 tropical cyclones to hit the Philippines from May to October. 15 hit the country last year. Pagasa also warns the La Nina phenomenon could develop starting August. Netizens may soon be allowed to say more on Twitter. In a blog post Tuesday, the company says it's easing the 140-character limit. Names in replies, photos, videos, and polls will not count. Another new feature, users will be able to retweet their own messages if they feel it went unnoticed. Twitter product manager Todd Sherman says they will roll out the updates over the coming months. Twitter's revamp comes after a quarterly update that showed little change in its user base. And that was your Noontime Wrap. I'm Zach Yuson. Join us again at 6 p.m. for today's top news.